It's your boy, Young Chris Breezy. Back here with another video. Well, I ain't gonna say another video, but the beginning video of my Face of the Franchise. I know I'm kind of a little late, but I ain't had a camera. I don't want to do no videos without a camera, but I've been doing videos with a camera, without a camera since 2K20. But now I got one, so that's being said. Let me go ahead. I already created my player. I don't want y'all to see that yet. We look like until all this. I'm joking. But anyways, but I'm using my real life, school, places, and everything. So this is where I came from in high school. Mount Tabor. Did I put a space? Oh, I did not. Tabor. That's what. High school. Spartans. I hope they let us have. I hope there's a Spartan up in here. City. And I was in Winston Salem. in North Carolina. See you tonight. I've already told Reggie to stick. <clears throat> School mascot was a please. It was a Spartan. Mount Tabor Spartan is the battle of blue and gold. Showing some of y'all if y'all didn't, we haven't played Madden yet. There you are. <laughs> At least someone's here today. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's my first assignment, and most of my crew is out with food poisoning. <laughs> I told them not to order sushi on a Monday. Everyone knows that's the leftovers from the weekend. <laughs> wow, I'm rambling. Hi. I'm Kelly Porter. <laughs> I'm Reggie's producer. Oh my goodness. Okay, if you don't mind, I am going to sit you down and uh, I'm going to mic you up. How does that sound? Okay, great. We're going to throw you right here. And uh, you know, <laughs> I've never done this before. I'm wearing a lot of hats today, um, uh, but not makeup and hair. You know why? Because Dax, what's up Dax? Dax and I are vegan and uh, we didn't catch the same plague that the rest of the crew caught. Okay, so you know what? I think I'm going to need an audio level from you. So, uh, yeah, just... Hello, hello. Ah, uh, cat, dog, penguin. Check, check, one, two, one, two. Hello, hello. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, uh, 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 everything looks good. Reggie, he's all yours. Hey. <laughs> Oh, man, it's great to have you here. Back where it all started. Yeah, it's good to be back and to see a familiar face. You look great. Oh, come on, man. Look at you. You the one that look good. So listen, basically, 
Today is going to be pretty straightforward. You've seen the show before. Okay, well, I'm just going to ask you some questions about your life and career. It'll be fun reminiscing. And, and don't worry, okay? I, uh, I got your, uh, your agent's threatening texts, and the kid glove stays on today. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa. Ho, ho, ho. I see you still got those all-pro reflexes. Yeah. <laughs> Ironically enough, that's how it all started for me. You know, if memory serves, you didn't start out playing football back then. That's right. It's my first day here as a transfer student. Football kind of just found me. <laughs> see, if this was like a wrestling video, uh, see what happened. <laughs> Yo, uh, <clears throat> I'm like wrestling fan with me, shit, because I didn't play football my senior year. All I did was just fucking up wrestling. Now for the beast that ran a songs. Your helmet. Got those fancy words from this French girl I met recently. Okay then, let's see what you can do. I don't know, coach. I haven't played since Pop Warner. Okay, football's just like music, kid. Once you learn how to play it, it never leaves your soul. Besides, That's true. We're as half as good as you are in hockey. We're in great shape. Hey, Tommy, give him a ball, would you? We've already got a QB coach. A darn good one based on the colleges that have already made me offers. And a modest one, apparently. Look, you still don't have any depth behind you. If you want to compete for state, it's always best to be prepared. All right, suit yourself. We got plenty of room on the bench anyway. I don't know all why there's black. I wish we can I could change the color. around the edges, but I definitely see some potential. What do you say we smooth out those edges at practice? Sounds good, coach. Good, good practice. Welcome to the team. Hey, thanks, man. All right, man, listen. I'm gonna be real with you. This ain't gym class, okay? This is my team. And as long as you understand that, we'll be fine. You got it? Boys, mm. find yourself a box, keep it clean.
captain of the team in the corner away from everyone? Shouldn't you be in the middle of the locker room, morale and all? Well, I'm just over here for some peace and quiet. I'd like to get my head clear before a game. But I can't really do that if guys like you keep bothering me. No, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It's just this whole recruitment thing, it's really stressing me out. Thought you had a ton of offers. I did, but they can disappear as quickly as they come in. Plus, if I'm not on my game at all times, I can pretty much kiss it all goodbye. I mean, no full ride to college and no shot at the NFL. NFL? It's a bit lofty, isn't it? Maybe, but I got a lot of people counting on me, so it's the NFL or bust. Well, if you're as good as advertised, that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. You'll get a chance to see up close on Friday night. Who's that? That's Reggie Brown. He's uh, in charge of the school paper and the social media account. He's a pretty good kid, just, you know, a little annoying. Great, and here he comes. What's up, Reggie? <laughs> Tommy Matthews. The man, the myth, the legend. What's up, Reggie? Oh, maybe an exclusive for the paper? You know, winning me over with flattery will absolutely work every time. Okay, I got an exclusive for you. You ready? Okay, so, uh, so get this. You're, 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 you're really gonna love this. Okay, so today I was in the cafeteria. And you know how I usually have a chocolate shake at lunch, right? right. Okay, so today, this is crazy. I had a vanilla shake. That's crazy, right? I mean, vanilla. Yeah, uh, tell me, man. You gotta give me something I can use here. Anything, man. Well, how about a quote? Okay, Reggie, here's a quote. Tommy Matthews scores four touchdowns <coughs> and leads his team to another victory. How about that? Okay, yeah, I'm sure I can make that work. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Hey, if you really want a quote, I can help you out. Who are you, exactly? Uh, I'm the new backup QB. Uh, backup QB? Yeah, I'm good. No, thanks. Uh, on second thought, I need something to report on, and it might be worthwhile for the fans to learn the new face of the team. Yeah? Yeah. Ask me anything. Okay. Uh, first question. Which quarterback style would you say you emulate the most? Well, it's been a while since I played competitively, but back in the day, my game was closest to Lamar Jackson. If all my receivers are covered, pull it down, hit the hole for some big gains. All right, all right, solid answer. So when out on the field, how would you describe your personality in the huddle? Well, it doesn't matter if you're playing a game or working a job. It all starts at the top with strong leadership. So I like to inspire the people around me. Finally, that's something I can report on. Thanks, QB2. I'll see you out there Friday night. All right. <clears throat> Tommy, you all right, man? Yeah, I'm fine. Just have this bug that's going around. You don't look fine. You look sluggish. It's like you're not playing with any heart out there. Don't you dare talk to me about my heart. I've put everything I have into this. This game is my life. If you have so much heart, prove it. Because you're not showing any out there. Whoa. Whoa, hey, easy. Easy, man. I didn't mean to upset you. You're right. About what? about my lack of heart. Look, I didn't mean anything by it. No, it's my heart, man. I was born with a congenital heart defect. What does that mean, exactly? That means that my heart doesn't push blood through my body <clears throat> properly. Tommy, I'm sorry. I had no idea. I had a surgery when I was nine to repair it, but... My doctor's saying I need another one. Tommy, I mean, you need to get help immediately. Listen, if word gets out about this, 
That's the end of my football career. Do you understand? Please, you can't tell anyone about this. This is serious. You can't afford to wait any longer. It's just fatigue at this point. I'll be fine. Okay, I just need to get through this season. Plus, I owe it to these guys to help them win a state championship. Fine. But I don't feel right agreeing to this. If it gets any worse, then I'm gonna have to tell Coach. Why well, didn't let you take over? I don't think so. I'll be fine. All right, boys, bring it in. Is that a word? I should, I should uh, tell somebody because he ain't. He's being rude. <clears throat> See, one hit can end his life. Forget about football. Well, it's hard to celebrate his homecoming life. when you're being shut out by your crosstown rivals. Tommy Matthews is just not playing like himself tonight, and that is the major storyline as we continue right, our play. coverage. There isn't going to be another play for you tonight. What? We need you to take off your helmet and take a bench. Coach, what do you mean? You're pulling me? After everything I've given to this team? I'm doing what's best for you and for the team. Please, take a seat. Coach, I don't know what he told you, but I'm fine, Coach. I've got scouts here watching me tonight. You can't do this. Hey, hey, hey. Look, I need you to take it easy. We'll talk about this later in private. I said. What'd you say, man? Well, let the trainers do their job. I know you're worried, but you got 52 other guys out there. I need you to focus. They are all counting on you. 52 guys? No sweat, coach. Do it. Good. Because we're going to need you to ball out. That's not asking too much, of course. No, I got this. Was it the play calling? I had two whole weeks to digest everything. I'll be fine. What can go wrong? Great. Well, with your raw athleticism, you got this. Hope you're right. Whoa, you forgetting something? The helmet, the piece de renaissance, the most important part. Come on, you got this. Yeah, you're right, coach. I got this. Yeah? Yeah, you got this. Oh. He so doesn't got this. He doesn't got this. One more quarter to go in this always emotion-filled <coughs> homecoming rivalry. Kevin Connors and our entire broadcast team bringing you the live stream action courtesy of EA Sports. He's off a would-be tackler, and he's tackled a yard short of the 25, so he doesn't quite match a touchback. So I'm not sure what to make of this, but Tommy Matthews was just benched for a backup who joined the team only a couple of weeks ago. And get this, his teammates nicknamed him QB2 because they thought he'd never see the field, but here he is. Collects the first touchdown. QB2 throws for a score on his first play of the game. Are you kidding me? Who is this kid? Now to kick the PAT. And it's good. So they trim the lead by one more point. The score now 13 to 7. So an unexpected drive by an unknown backup we call QB2 leads the way to this kick. Fielded in the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as he drops to one knee for the touchback. So the Bearcats are lined up now. And there's Coach Summers yelling some instructions to his QB from the sideline. Looking to pass. 
throws to Irons, and he's got the first down. Carpenter settles into the shotgun look. Let's go, D, tighten up. On first down, he'll drop back. Pressure comes, and down he goes. With a country mile in front of them, it's second and long. Working from the gun, here's Carpenter. Spots irons. Now he's brought down. The completion gets them seven. Here comes third down. 55-55. Carpenter takes the snap. They set up the screen, and that's complete. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. The Bearcats lined up, ready to punt it away. And here's the kick. And Washington will not get a chance to return this one as the ball heads out of bounds. Now QB2 came off the bench to lead his team to a touchdown the last time out. Here's a chance now to prove it wasn't a fluke. Looking deep for Fuller. He pulls it in. A thrilling play that gets the fans on their feet. Now another first and ten and even more of a threat to score now. On the ground, it's Hawk, and they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. A gain of two on the play, and that makes it second and eight. Hawks lined up behind QB2. On second down, they'll run it here. And he picks up a hefty chunk of yards before he's out of bounds. The defense knows what's at stake here. First and goal now as they try to protect their lead. God, he barely gets that off before the pressure forces that incompletion. Following the incompletion on first, it's second and goal from the three. He's in trouble, and down he goes. Now a bit further from the end zone, here's third and goal. QB2 gives it to Hawk. And he's beyond the five to the four-yard line. Fourth and goal, and I like this decision here. They're going to go for it. They're running for it. The gamble pays off. Touchdown, Spartans. And this game is tied at 13. Can you believe it? Here's Myers now for the extra point. And they'll take a narrow lead, just one point between the teams. The score now, 14 to 13. Everyone's lined up, Let's ready go. for the kick. Hey, that's a nice kick. This is fielded just inside the goal line. Really, no need to risk it. He's just going to take a knee for a touchdown. See, in high school, that would never just On that Bearcat sideline, head coach Raymond Summers take. doing his best to keep his yeah. kids motivated. I mean, they've watched a 13 0 lead disintegrate with a snap. It's complete to justice. Now he'll take it out. Ooh, he lucky. He lucky. Well, I've got a moment. I gotta give a quick shout out to my man Reggie Brown with the school newspaper here. He took the time to show me around campus he earlier today. He lucky. This what kid's got a real future as a reporter. I'm telling you, he did a great piece on QB2 not long ago. They've shown no fear on third down all nope. game long. A great conversion rate. Can they do it again here? And they're unable to make the connection. So here comes fourth down. Four, 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 Ready four, to four, take four, a chance. Four. Here's fourth and two. Go. He's back to pass. This time he's got the connection. Woo. And a big Collision there. Wow. As a quick side note, what an honor it's been to team up with EA Sports to bring you some of the best high school football action in America. 
The players will be competing for Heisman trophies, national championships, and even Super Bowl titles in the years to come. Some of them are on this field today. Copper Thumb. Oh, we can go. Uh, that name. That's a feminine one one. name. Looking to pass on first down. It's caught at the eight. Damn it, Copper Thumb. Good for a first oh, down. Colts. Colts. He tries to walk the eight yard line. Here's first and goal. Looking to throw. Here's Carpenter. Oh, hold on. He's running left. And he'll make his way forward to the two yard Come line. Come on, baby. A gain of six on the play. And now it's second and goal. He's got it. God, dude. Dang. Bearcats. Okay. And they take the lead with Bravado. And now the Bearcats will try to add two to the board. Out of the gun, it's Carpenter. Oh, hold on, he's running right. <laughs> they come up empty on that play call. It's all me, baby. It's Following all me. the touchdown, the it's Bearcats all are ready to kick it away. Take that bitch. Take Caught that in the end zone. And he's taken down after crossing the 20 yard line. Crossing! Because I'm throwing that thing. This could thing. very well be it. The last chance to finish an improbable comeback. Slings it downfield. And it's complete. Me. And he's down at the 49. A 38-yard game. And a crucial first down. And that will do it. The Bearcats win. So as our EA Sports live stream comes to an end, I'm Kevin Connors, signing off. I'm going to be watching you. Not with just with one eye, with both of my eyes. All right? Keep doing good work, and I'll be in... Hey, uh... Grant Simmons. Recruiting analyst over at RecruitsToWatch.com. Heck of a game out there tonight, son. Hey, uh, you ever think about your future in football? Where you might want to commit to? Not really. I'm just kind of having fun out there. Yeah, yeah, I see you out there having fun. Well, uh, look here, when you're ready, give me a call, all right? We'd love to add you to our site. My man. Even though we lost. The man of the hour. But you're the hottest scoop this year. Got a few moments for an exclusive? Sorry, maybe some other time, Reg. I got a lot to prep for playoffs. <sighs> but I'll tell you what, if you give me the exclusive. I put together your senior highlight reel for recruiting next year. Oh, you really do that? Heck yeah. I, mean, I got a lot of tricks to get a lot of eyes on your tape, too. Yeah, I do that for all the guys that are pretty nice today, which is the kicker and now you. I'm sold. I need as much help as I can get with recruiting. All right. Let's get started. Wow, great. Okay. Um, let me think. Oh, regarding your last game, what would you say is your biggest strength? Shoot, avoiding the pass rush. Uh, well, I felt like I was able to get away from the rush and then buy enough time to make plays. All right, well, if you're not going to play me, I quit. Well, Reg, I guess there's your exclusive. Need a word from my office. You got a heart. A D.
Welcome to our EA Sports live stream from Bank of America Stadium, the home of the North Carolina High School Football State Championship and the host of tonight's clash between the Brush Hogs and the Spartans. With you as always, I'm Kevin Connors as we await Are we on? Well, the anticipation is over. A year's worth of blood, sweat, and tears has come down to this. Game time the state championship. Fielded in the end zone. And it'll be a touchback as he elects to take a knee. So the brush hogs are lined up now. And you know, the state championship <laughs> Every drive can seem like it's the most critical. Dixon takes the snap. Over the middle, caught by Poole. And a solid gain up to the Come on, baby. Three. I know I play these Milanas, baby. Hogs, this game Swim move. To Woo! Woo! A chance for redemption after losing a blowout to one year ago in this very same stadium. The history they bring to this matchup adds a whole new dimension to this show. First down, back to pass. And it'll be incomplete. So earlier today, while speaking with Brush Hogs coach George Thompson, I asked if their loss in the title game last year came up at all in their preparations this week. You know what he said? He said they took the game film and they buried it. He insisted they put it behind them and that they are ready to raise the trophy. A big play at the start of the drive, but here they are suddenly facing a third and ten. Out of the gun, it's Dixon. And that drops incomplete, so now they're looking at a fourth down. As anyone knows, high schoolers and social media, it can be a recipe for drama. And Clay Rainey stirred up some controversy this week when he predicted a championship win for his brush hogs. You can imagine how well that went over with QB2 and his squad. Spoiler alert, not well. QB2 and his brigade of playmakers take the field for the first time in this title game. Still going. And that's a fantastic way to start the drive. Just one play needed to get the first. Okay, so you're hitting me up on social media wanting to know exactly what Clay Rainey posted, and it was an invitation to his championship party tomorrow evening. Yes, very bold, and you know what? He was pretty quick to delete it, too. And he's brought down at the 39. From the gun, inside handoff. Cuts to the right side, and he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Spartans! Sammy Hawk, and that's a play worthy of RecruitsToWatch.com. Myers now to add the extra point. Oh, it's a fake. Can he get it off? So they God, come damn. up empty on that play call. Giving up the touchdown, the Brush Hogs are back to receive. This will be caught deep in the end zone, and this will be a touchback as he drops to one knee. The Brush Hogs take over on offense. Let's see what the future holds on first and ten. The drive begins on the ground with Rainey. He's across midfield. And he's finally stopped at the 40. Wow, a big gain on that play. A 35-yard gain, and they're already beyond midfield. Back to pass on first down, and it's incomplete. Washington makes the play. So the comments keep coming in now on my channel, and yes, I did see Sammy Hawk's reaction to the Clay Rainey party invite. 
For those who haven't, here's what Hawk said. You can delete the post, but screenshots live forever. And there you have it. Everyone from playmakers to politicians take heed. The new era of bulletin board material is here. Looking to throw. Here's Dixon. The ball's loose. Scooped up by the D. And they'll have it at the 44 yard line. The Spartans take over on offense. And all eyes are on QB2 as he gets set for this drive. I think every smartphone in the stands has pointed at that young man. <coughs> Following the fumble recovery, here's QB2, and he'll scoot his way forward for a solid game. While I've got a moment here, I'd like to thank my guy Reggie Brown for the well-researched game notes he gave me earlier. Reggie writes for the school newspaper that's covered QB2 since he joined the team, and I gotta tell you, that little Sparky has really earned my respect. And he's tackled at the 17. A 34-yard game. And now in striking distance. Okay, now that I'm back in my seat, why don't we pick back up with the action here, first and 10. Wait, maybe not. He's on the move. And he'll do it himself. Touchdown. And they stretch their lead. The kick for one more. Hang on, some chicanery here. They want to throw. He's got it. Yes, they'll add two to the board. And that'll push the advantage, growing their lead. <coughs> Following the touchdown, the Spartans are ready to kick it away. send out their offense and you know signal caller Gavin Dixon he's no stranger to pressure he led the way to victory in a couple nail biters earlier this season fires quickly and that's complete now he's taken down five yards on the catch there as they prepare for second down from the gun here's Dixon spots Rosas completes the throw and he's got it past the marker, first down. Gavin Dixon, the field general of this Brush Hogs team and someone who comes from a family with deep ties to Nebraska football. His dad Clyde played running back for the Huskers, as did his older brother Tommy. Mom Olivia was a star on the Huskers track team, so I'm not so sure Gavin has ever even considered going anywhere else. Looking to pass on first and ten. Complete to Kirkpatrick. And he's taken down at the 28. So time expires on the first quarter of play. Three more to go in this state championship showdown. Back in a moment. So we'll pick back up with the action here in the second quarter as we await the snap on first down. A little trickery here, gives it to his receiver. Shakes him with the wiggle. Ten. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Brush Hogs. Dre now to add the extra point. It's over. Down, the Spartans are back to receive. He fields it at the two. And he'll be brought down after finding a bit of room up the field. So the Spartans are lined up now. And there's Coach Fetu calling out some instructions for QB2 from the sideline. And they bring him down after a short pickup. So I mentioned the game notes Reggie gave me earlier, and here's an interesting fact. Rush Hogs head coach George Thompson once played Coach Fetu in a football game, 
back in college. Now, it wasn't for a championship, but Coach Fetu's Trojans won that non-conference showdown. Amazing how we've come full circle here today. Oh, a great series of moves. A 28-yard game, and that's what the fans came to see. Operating now on the opposite side of the field, it's first and ten. Back to pass. Now he tucks it. Oh, a fancy move to elude the defense. And he's all the way home for a touchdown. And that's the kind of play we've come to expect. Now the try to add one more. Wait, it's a fake. They're going to throw. He makes the grab. Good for two more. And that'll push the advantage, growing their lead. Following the touchdown, the Spartans are ready to kick it away. And he's brought down at the 34-yard line. So the brush hogs are lined <coughs> up now. And man, a touchdown would dramatically help change the narrative of this game. Scans the field. He's on the move. Oh, but now it's loose. The D's got it. They're on the move. Bring it! Bring it! And it's all the way home. Touchdown, Spartan! Tack on another point. And they add yet another point. One of many in this matchup. They're up big right now. Following that thrilling fumble return, the Spartans are ready to kick it away. From a yard or two inside the goal line, he's got it. And he'll kneel down for the touchback. Here come the Brush Hogs to start the drive. They've got to make every play count to have any chance of mounting a comeback. I mentioned earlier Gavin's ties to Nebraska football. Look, he's obviously been asked about it since, I think, the eighth grade. And to his credit, he's never been shy about saying, yeah, I mean, if given the opportunity, who wouldn't want to be a hustler? So it's not a done deal until he signs that letter of intent, but there's a very good chance we'll see this young man in Lincoln someday. Drops back to throw here on third. Now he tucks the ball, looking for... Oh, he lost the football! And the Spartans take possession. They closed in on that ball quickly. Here come the Spartans to start the drive. And if they go to the run, you can expect QB2 to be involved. He leads this team in rushing yards. Touchdown! to throw. Here's QB2. He ha! can't make the connection. So they come up empty on that play call. After giving up the touchdown, the Bush Hogs are back to receive. The Bush Hogs take over on offense. And with this kind of deficit, Gavin Dixon and his playmakers will need to come up with something big on this drive. They give it to Rainey. Really not able to get much before he's tackled. You know, another thing about Nebraska football, we got a couple of former Cornhuskers in the house here today. Levante David and Rex Burkhead are here to take in this championship game. 
Tip of the cap to my pal Reggie for the heads up on that. After a minimal pickup, here's third and five. Yeah, there's the snap. Absolutely <coughs> nowhere to go when he eats that sack. When you look around this I say he eats that sack. <laughs> He's that set. Ooh, ooh, he, he's that set. We'll draw thousands upon thousands no. of fans, and there's more than a few NFL players among them. Before the game, I saw guys like Patrick Peterson and the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, signing a bunch of autographs. And that's a terrific return as he shows off the wheels on his way up the field. Here come the Spartans to start the drive, and QB2 will look to use his legs as well as his arm to lead his team down the field. He comes down with it, and he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Spartans! Davion Patton, a show-stopping score from beyond midfield. Touchdown. The Spartans are ready to kick it away. It's taken at the one. And he's brought down at the 24 yard line. Time to go to work. Let's go. The Brush Hogs send out their offense. And there's Dixon making some final preparations as we await the snap. Surveys the field. Caught by Rosas. And he'll be marked out at the 23-yard line. Lined up in the shotgun. Looking to pass on second down. Finds Kirkpatrick. And he's brought down at the 34-yard line. Timeout called by the Brush Hogs. They've got two remaining as we near the halfway mark. Third and short, Dixon to throw. Sends it to Kirkpatrick, picks up the first. Now the Brush Hogs call timeout. They're down to just one now. And with halftime on the horizon. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's Dixon. He'll throw again. He's got Rosas. And they'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. A gain of seven on the play. And now it's second and three. He tried. I ain't gonna lie, he was open though. He was open though. From the gun, it's Dixon. Batted into the air and intercepted. Two, 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 two. Into the clear. Bring it, 20, bring it. 10. And it's a pick six touchdown. <laughs> Time for the extra point. And he puts it through. Ooh, boom. Down now. Boom. Nine to seven. Ain't nobody but me, baby. Following that Ain't nobody but touchdown. me. The Spartans are ready to kick it away. Caught in the end zone. Ain't nobody and but he'll me. take a knee for the touchback. Hold on guys, hold on. Yeah, well. I'm done. Just finished being at the show. Yeah, I can't go home. Yeah, I can't come out since because my mom's like, you gonna be out anyway tomorrow? Because you gotta go shopping. I'm like, oh. I said, uh, my mom was like, I can't go out because since I'm gonna be out tomorrow shopping. That's what I'll be like. I'm like, Ma, Ma, punch me. She's like, no. It's just, what's the reason you be out now? And it's so early. I mean, late. It's not late. She always think everything's late. 
Huh? Huh? What you say? Brady's lined up behind Dixon. They'll start this drive on the ground. Not much there as they're able to bring him down. So after a lopsided first half, it's the Spartans in control. And when we return the second half of this historic showdown, we can only hope the rascals who pulled off that halftime prank are brought to justice. Either way, it's time to get back to the game. Here comes the second half. Follows it up with a juice. And he stopped near midfield after coming up with a great return. Shotgun look. They start the drive with Hawk. What a powerful move. And that's a big time game that gets them past the 35 yard line. QB2 settles into this shotgun look. They snap the ball. He's got it past the marker. First down, Spartans. Boy, a brisk pace to this drive as they look to keep up the momentum. QB2 looks downfield, shrugs off a defender, and he'll push his way to the 12. A pickup of five on the play, and that makes it second and five. From the shotgun now, inside handoff on his feet. Now he's tackled after picking up the first. After coming up with a strong run, it's first and goal. QB2 takes the snap. Oh, change of plans. Hauls it in in the end zone. 
Touchdown, Spartans! Davion Patton, his second touchdown catch of the game. Myers is on now for the PAT. And he knocks it through. Very much in control of this game. Here comes the kick. Fielded in the end zone. And we won't see a return here as he kneels for the touchback. <laughs> Throwing to start the drive. Here's Dixon. Picks up a nice chunk of yards before he's brought down. I've got to take a break from the game here for a moment. I think the pranksters I mentioned earlier are still on the loose. Over in the Brush Hogs fan section, they're holding up signs they found underneath their seats with the letters that spell, well, let's just say there's a reason we aren't pointing our cameras at them right now. Stuffed on the previous play. It'll be third and four. Here's Dixon. Throws into a double team, and it's intercepted. Busts through the contact, and they'll have it inside the red zone. Oh, a forced throw, and he read that like a book. All right, here we go. It's first and goal. They'll go with the run. Pushes through contact, and he'll make his way forward to the two-yard line. On second down, back to pass. It's caught! Touchdown, Spartans! Just two plays needed to find the end zone. Now they're lined up for the extra point. And he gets it to go. in the end zone and it's not a great return as he's tackled inside the 20 yard line <laughs> throwing to start the drive here's Dixon holds on to the ball as he takes a shot on that play I spoke of the NFL players in attendance here today Earl Thomas and Jarvis Landry happen to be watching from the sidelines tonight. And get this, Adrian Peterson showed up at Coach Fetu's request and surprised his players with a pregame speech. Can you imagine that? Out of the gun on third. Throws left, it's complete. Now he's finally out of bounds after a huge gain on the play. A 19-yard pickup, and that's good for a first down. Shotgun snap. Here's Dixon. Caught by Rosas, and he's brought down at the 44. Just short of a first down. Here's second and inches. Rainey gets the handoff. And this time, he's taken down as he gets to the line of scrimmage. Rainey's lined up in the backfield. Going with the run on third and short. And they're not able to stop him before he comes up with the first down. So that'll do it for this third quarter of action. When we return, the quest for a state championship continues. Stay tuned. Finds his man on a crossing route. And he's across the 50 to the 47. Needing this drive to finish in the end zone. It's second and three. Looking for a receiver. Scratch that. He's moved the ball. Comes out. Now it's picked up going the other way. 
He's out in front. 20, 10, and it's all the way home. Touchdown, Spartans. Oh, they are running up the score. Point after attempt is good. Hey, get in there, get what you want, Jay. Get in there, get what you want, boy. Following that thrilling fumble return, the Spartans are ready to kick it away. This is fielded just inside the goal line. And he'll wind up at the 25. Could have saved himself some trouble by just kneeling in the end zone. Here come the Brush Hogs to start the drive. And they're playing for pride at this point. Their deficit, a considerable one. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Dick. Oh, no, he pops it up. And the offense takes it back. They reacted quickly to save their drive. Needing something positive. It's second and long. Out of the gun, they'll throw. They get to Dixon for the sack. The defense does it again on back-to-back -back downs. Can you imagine being one of those old linemen right now, having to look their quarterback in the face after getting a back-to-back -back sacks? They must feel badly. Dixon's pass is intercepted. Picked off by Washington. And they'll have it inside the red zone. chance to finish off what was nearly a touchdown on their previous play. Here's QB2. Ooh, he took a hit as he threw it, and that'll end up incomplete. From the one-yard line, now it's second and goal. Grabs the snap. And he does it again! Touchdown! Here's Myers now for the extra point. Oh, he's taking off! He's unable to get it across. They fail to score two. So they come up empty on that play call. After giving up the touchdown, the Brush Hogs are back to receive. And he's down at the 35. So the Brush Hogs are lined up now. And there's Coach Thompson yelling some instructions for Gavin Dixon from the sideline. Looking to pass. They run the screen, and it's complete to Rainey. And look at that, tackle for a loss, sending this offense backwards. Lined up in the shotgun. Back to pass on second down. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Tyrus Poole, the intended receiver there. Following the incompletion on second, here's third and long. Looks to throw out of the shotgun. He's got a man. First down, Brush Hogs. Working now from the far side of the logo. It's first and ten. Drops back again. Now he'll tuck and run. And he gives himself up after picking up the first. Going through the motions now. It's first and ten. Here's Dixon to start the series. Oh, Dixon is sacked. Tried to use his feet, but could not avoid the takedown. Following the takedown, it's second and long. Dixon looks downfield. Throws into the flat for Rainey. And they go backwards, losing yardage. And as the seconds count down, the realization is here. The Brush Hogs will come up short, 
once again. Now, look, I know character is formed at times like these, but, man, knowing what it would have meant for this team, I mean, you're not human if you don't hurt for these kids. And he's brought down at the 49-yard line. The Spartans send out their offense. And they are very much in control of this game. Oh, the misdirection. And they finally stop him short of the red zone after a big-time gain. A 28-yard gain and a first down and much, much more. It's a give to his receiver on the sweep. Breaks a tackle, still moving. Whoa, and that play goes backwards as he's tackled for a loss. While doing some prep for this game, I got a recommendation to check out RecruitsToWatch.com. And let me tell you, QB2 is well represented with some jaw-dropping highlights. And he's into the end zone! Touchdown, Spartans! And that should seal the deal. It's up and it's good. Still leading by a comfortable margin. Here comes the kick. The Brush Hogs take over on offense. And to be honest, all hope seems lost, but these kids continue to show some heart. He's back to pass. And they can't make the connection, so it'll be second down. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. Once more on second down, here's Dixon. And it's incomplete, so we're looking at third down. Zero progress on this drive thus far. It's third down. Out of the gun, looking to fire. Dixon is picked Who wants up! And they'll have it inside the red zone. Oh, and that's a crushing blow. Might get a little chippy here as it doesn't appear they're going to kneel this one out. He cannot be stopped. Touchdown. And what a moment for QB2. He was a backup on homecoming weekend. Now he's on the verge of becoming a state champion. Right here, this is my favorite part. The spin move you do. Breaking that dude's ankles and the stiff arm, woo! Reminds me of my playing days, Samoan warrior style. <laughs> it's too bad you stepped out of bounds. You could have scored a touchdown. Well, there's no way you could have dodged. Tommy, how the heck have you been? <laughs> hey, Tommy, how you feeling, man? Good. Got a clean bill of health. I'm ready to get back out there. Come on in, have a seat. Didn't think you'd be back. Trust me, I tried transferring. Doesn't seem like any other schools want to accept a perceived health risk. But I've got a clearance from my doctor. Coach, I'm ready to play. What do you think? It's only right you take your spot back. I was just keeping it warm for you. You know, the team seems to be doing just fine with you out there. And... Seeing that you're kind of thin at receiver, I was thinking that maybe I could help out by lining up outside. Shoot, yeah. We'll work something out. 
like you said, Coach, you gotta do what's right for the team. It's the best news I've heard since my Aunt Lokalani's bore one best in show. I'm gonna get the playbook. We're gonna start drawing some stuff up. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! I know I'm not your favorite person in the world right now. You're not even in my top seven billion. <laughs> That's fair. Just know I did what I did to protect you. Not to try and take everything that you worked for. Yeah, I can understand if you're angry with me, but I'm gonna do everything I can to make it right. I'll tell you how you can make it right. The Midwest Prep Showcase, later this season against the Central Hawks. What about it? Well, they're the best team in the country, and it's a nationally televised game. That means every recruiter's gonna see it. So what do you want from me? I just want you to let me go out there and do my thing and show the recruiters what I can do. It's my last chance of getting an offer. Fine. But if it's not working out out there, then I gotta get the other guys involved. Trust me. You won't need to. Sundays looks to be no different on a Friday night. We've got a packed house for the Midwest Prep Showcase. Soon, two of the best high school football teams in the nation will collide here at Arrowhead Stadium when the Hawks take on the Spartans. Wait, it's... it's your... Yeah, rapper... Producer, entrepreneur, Snoop Deal Double G. Please believe it, that's me. But hold up. Ain't you one half of them heartbreak boys? I'm a huge fan of yours. Nah, man, I'm a fan of yours. Check this out. If the coach and half the stadium knew what I was about to say, they'd try to run me out of this town, man. But let me tell you this. I've been following y'all story for quite some time. And I'm pulling for y'all tonight. Wow. That's... That's amazing. Thank you so much. For sure, my brother. Now get out there and go do your thing. Snoop, you know Tommy Matthews? Tommy! Hey. Hey, man, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. I'm such a fan, man. Hey, likewise. Love your hard work, your dedication, and how you just put the team and put everything on your back, man. That's beautiful, man. It takes a whole lot to do what you did. Wow. Thanks, man. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all better get out there and make it count, man. It's a whole lot of schools that's gonna be watching y'all tonight. And I got a feeling I'm gonna see y'all again. Good luck. Ball out. Will do. <laughs> Thanks, Snoop. For shizzle, Snoop. <laughs> Yo, you just met Snoop D-O-double-G. I know. That was cool. But what? Let's go do this, man. <laughs> la dee da dee da <laughs> as Alan Myers gets things started. From a yard or two inside the goal line, he's got it. Oh, and he was hoping for more as he gets taken down after an average return. So in this matchup of top-ranked QBs, it's Braxton Knight and the Hawks with the chance to strike first on this opening drive. Knight takes the snap toward the sideline, and that's a nice catch to stay in bounds. Braxton Knight, easily one of the best quarterbacks in the nation, hasn't faced a double-digit deficit since he became a starter last season. When he gets this offense clicking, it is a sight to behold. It's a <laughs> With a long way to go, it's second and long. Off play action. 
high fall. All these kids so thrilled when they found out this year's edition of the showcase would be played at the home of the Kansas City Chiefs Arrowhead Stadium. This is now a premier event on the high school football calendar. Back to throw. Here's Knight. And Knight's pass is intercepted. Picked off by Washington. So for the first time in this showcase, we'll get a look at QB2 and his offensive weapons, Tommy Matthews among them. They're going to bring him to the ground after just a short pickup. So get this, earlier today I was speaking with Hawks coach Kevin Robbins and in typical fashion, he did not hold back about today's matchup. He proclaimed his D would be so good against QB2, they'd end up putting Tommy Matthews back at quarterback. Bold words. Following the incomplete pass on second down, here's third and nine. it to Matthews and wow listen to this crowd I mean if that doesn't give you goosebumps everyone here well aware of his story with a heart condition talk about a moment and he takes it into the end zone touchdown Spartans Sammy Hawk the first score of the showcase Good for a 7-0 lead. Following the touchdown, the Spartans are ready to kick it away. And he's taken down at the 33. play of the drive for the Hawks and the chat for this live stream filled with opinions presented as facts by the way feel free to add your own I know I did he finds Thrash and he's past the 40 to the 41 apparently the kids on the field weren't the only ones thrilled about this game being an arrowhead we've got an incredible turnout for one of the most hyped matchups of this season and that'll be good for a first down on a tough run up the middle all right so following the short game it's first and ten now they'll throw from the gun here's monroe wide open and he moves the chains first down arrowhead stadium one of the best venues in all of football and you know who loves it here the coach jonathan coachman Big-time Chiefs fan. He's a Kansas native. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if he's in the house today. Oh, and a big-time hit knocks him flat on his back. An 18-yard pickup. And another first down. Knight hands it to Grove. And not much room there as he'll get up to about the 21-yard line. So, yes, there's an obvious reason why they call this the Midwest Prep Showcase every year it's quite literally a showcase of the nation's top players but this year is the first time they've ever had the top two quarterbacks in the country face off i'm speaking of course about qb2 and braxton knight following that incompletion it's third and eight out of the gun it's knight and they're unable to make the connection so here comes fourth down first field goal attempt for the usually steady kicker Sutherland splits the uprights and they put three on the board following the field goal the Hawks are ready to kick it away fielded in the end zone Nothing ventured, nothing gained. They'll take it, right? This drive starts out past the 25. The Spartans take over on offense. And there's QB2 making some final preparations as we await the snap. Wait, maybe not. He's on the move. Great 
footwork loses the defender. And he picks up a big chunk of yards to take them into enemy territory. Operating now on the opposite side of the field. Let's it fly for Matthews. And that's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Spartans. He used to throw them. Now he catches them. Tommy is back. And the kick is good. The lead now, 14 to 3. Touchdown. The Hawks are back to receive. Caught in the end zone. Yeah, I think the special teams coach's head might have exploded if he took that one out. Right choice on the touchback. So we'll pick back up with the action here in the second quarter as we await the snap on first down. Knight hands it off to Grove, and he'll stop him after a minimal pick. You know, a high-profile game like this can generate the interest of some big-time schools, and this stadium is loaded with coaches from powerhouse programs. LSU, Clemson, Oklahoma, you name it, they're here. Grove gets another carry. Ooh, that's a solid hit on that bruising tackle. I mentioned a few colleges earlier with recruiters in attendance. A guy Reggie gave me a list with a few more names on it, and you know it's a heavyweight matchup when you've got schools like Oregon, Florida, and Southern California among the fans here today. Interesting call here. They're going to keep the punt team on the sideline for this fourth down. They'll run for it, but he doesn't get to the marker. So the Spartans will take over the football. They come out five wide, three to the right. Throwing to start the drive. Here's QB2. Oh, change of plans. He tucks the ball. Nice spin move, and a great pick up there to move them inside the 40. A 32-yard gain, and now everyone's on their feet, myself included. Back to pass. He's got Matthews. The Coach Betu's team among the best in high school football, undefeated and blessed with the potent combination of QB2 and Tommy Matthews. They are the combo to watch here today, no question. And a huge game puts them just six yards away from Painter. So it's the defense in the spotlight now on this first and goal. They'll go with the run, and he goes straight at him. Touchdown! Sammy Hawk, his second rushing touchdown of the game. Myers now to add the extra point. It's a fake. He's looking to throw. He's into the end zone. Give him two more. And that'll push the advantage, growing their lead. Still ahead by a wide margin. They're lined up for the return. Oh, big time hit. I think he knocked 
them back to middle school. And the offense is finding its rhythm as they line up here on first and ten. They'll start this drive on the ground. Gotta share a quick story. All right, so I'm making my way to the press box before the game, and who do I see but the dog father himself, Snoop Dogg.